Hey YouTube friends, it's Lola from Lola's Life Lessons. I wanted to say hello to my old YouTube subscribers and I want to welcome my new subscribers. So if you're new to my channel, just want to let you know that what my channel is all about. My channel is a lifestyle channel and I focus predominantly on my weight loss journey. So now that we got that out of the way, so this particular video that I'm doing is a follow up to a video that I have just done, which is about OMAD. OMAD is one meal a day. And I did a video regarding how to start OMAD. So I had a lot of people asking, how do you start OMAD? And I did a video about that. Now, if you haven't seen that video, I'm urging you to stop this video now, pause this video, and I want you to go to my description and just click on the link and go and watch that video first because this video might not make a lot of sense and I'm not going to repeat the stuff that I said in the last video because that's gonna be a little bit boring and repetitive. Okay, so now that we're all caught up, you've, you've come back or you continue to watch, which is great either way. So basically what this video is about, um, I had done the other video and then I had a lot of comments where people were asking if I could just focus on the day, the basically the first day of intermittent fasting, that 14 hour fast, you've made the decision to do OMAD, but now you're basically taking the first step to get to OMAD, which is intermittent fasting. This is your 14 day fast, this is your first day, you made the decision, you decided I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna lose that weight, but this is your first day and you're used to eating, you know, from the time you get up in the morning and you're eating after dinner and you're snacking, but you've made the decision that you're gonna stop eating at 6 p.m. And you want me to talk about that. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, you're going to eat normally through the day. So if you eat breakfast, I want you to continue to eat breakfast, eat your lunch, eat your dinner, eat what you would normally eat, whatever that is. Don't cut out junk food if that's what you normally eat. Eat all of that stuff, do what you normally do. And then at six o'clock, you're gonna stop eating. Now, as I said to you in my last video, I am pretty straightforward, honest, and I'm not gonna say to you that it's easy, or that it's a piece of cake. It's not gonna be, it's not easy. What's going to happen when you stop eating after six is that your mind is going to be playing little tricks on you. Your mind is going to be telling you that you're hungry um, or it's going to just play little tricks. It's going to try to get you to eat something. And what I noticed with myself with and that I experienced that, it was almost like I think that I had, I was doing, I was in a routine and I was just, that's just what I did. I would eat till the time I woke up until I went to sleep. And then when my body and mind seeing that there was something different going on, it was almost like my body went into like a panic mode. My mind went into a panic mode where I was feeling like something was off and I wanted what I couldn't have. So because I wasn't at, because I had said, I'm not going to eat after six o'clock. That's all I wanted to do. All I wanted to do was eat after six. Now I, so that first day for me was very difficult. So what I would suggest to you going into this now is you got to have your aids. You have to have your little helpers, which I had. So, so, and I have told you guys what my little aids were. So my helpers were black seed oil, apple cider vinegar. So now my apple cider vinegar um, is the Bragg's apple cider vinegar. So, here, I hope that you guys can see this. So this is the apple cider vinegar that I use. It's Bragg's apple cider vinegar. So you guys can get this at your local health food store or for convenience sake, you can just order it off Amazon. So it is the Bragg's apple cider vinegar and it's the one with the mother in it. Now, how you would prepare that is you would put that apple cider vinegar in a glass of water um, with one tablespoon or you can make a big jug of it and add a few tablespoons and you literally sip on that um, during your fasting time. And this will suppress your appetite. It's a really amazing appetite suppressant. 
I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about it because there are thousands of videos about apple cider vinegar online. Now my other aid, which was my, literally my super charger, my secret weapon, is the black seed oil. Now this is the brand that I started with. This is the Karen Hope, apple cider, um, sorry, the Karen Hope black seed oil. And I purchased this one at Healthy Planet. Now I had mentioned in my last video that I had started with that one. But what I started to find was that when I would go to the store, it was never on the shelf. So I had to switch to another, another brand and I wanted just more convenience and I just wanted, I didn't want to wait like a week after I had finished a bottle to start another bottle. So I decided that I would just order it online and when I do order it online, I would just get like two at a time. So the other one that was recommended to me was this one here, which was the Black Seed Oil by Amazing Herbs. And this was a pretty good brand. It's actually the same um, as the Karen Hope. I don't see any difference and that those are the two that, that I have been using. So how you would use this one is it's basically a teaspoon in a glass of water. Um, I did in the beginning put some raw honey in it but what I noticed was that the raw honey for me the sweetness stimulates my appetite so I find that when I don't um, put any raw honey in it. It works as an amazing appetite suppressant and I don't eat as much and I don't feel as hungry. Now what you can do is, what I would suggest to you to do is um, before you have your first, your meal in the morning, you would add that to a glass of water. Um, so basically what you would do is, so you're going to stop eating at six o'clock. You're gonna sip on water until bedtime you can add that apple cider vinegar to that water, sip on that, and then you're going to go to sleep. And then in the morning, what you will do is, before you eat your breakfast, you're going to have that black seed oil in your water and have that maybe a half an hour before you have your breakfast. And you will definitely have, you're gonna see how wonderful that is for you. And you probably will notice that you're not gonna be eating as much during the day. Now, what I'm going to caution you against is, and this is for all the uh, people out there that are the all or nothing people. I'm one of those all or nothing people. And all or nothing mean I go into things and then I'm, I feel like I need to be a superwoman about it. And what I'm saying to you is you don't have to be a superwoman about it. You don't have to go into this and say, oh, I'm going to just eat like healthy foods. I'm going to just have salads and things like that. No. In the beginning of this, just eat your normal food. So once you've mastered that 14 hour fast, you're doing this 14 hour fast, you're comfortable, you got this, you're doing this, and then you're noticing that you're losing weight, and then you decided that you want to um, go on to 15 hour fast. So now at this point, you're going to be, um, your last meal is gonna be at 6 p.m and then you're going to be eating your breakfast at 9 a.m. So now that gives you a really good 15 hour fast. Now that is fantastic. So then you're gonna do this for another few weeks until you're feeling like you'd like to extend your fast. As your eating window closes and your fasting time lengthens, you will know when you're ready for OMAD. Now, when you're sleeping, you may notice that your mind is gonna be telling you, oh, let's go get something to eat, we're hungry. Well, you're not gonna to listen to that. You're gonna just tell yourself, we're fasting, we're good. Now, you're gonna to say to yourself, we're fasting right now. It's not that we'll never eat again. We're just going to be eating at eight, at eight or 9 a.m. as opposed to right now. And that should do it. So I hope that I have gone over what it's like to do that 
14 hour fast and I hope that I've helped you. Now, if you feel that this video will help someone that's considering making a change in their life, please share this video. And I kind of like showing these before and after um, videos of myself because it really keeps me motivated. So here's my before and after here. And hey girl. <laughs> I know that's silly, but I like seeing these really, these before and after uh, images. So I also wanted to mention that you should check with your doctor um, before you start anything new. I'm saying that because I don't know what medications you guys are taking and I don't know what your health concerns are, but I would seek a doctor or healthcare practitioner that understands what OMAD is or is familiar with OMAD. Um, and also, uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, I want you guys just to stay happy, healthy, and like this video. Please subscribe. Please comment. Let's get some discussion in the comments. Share what you know. Share your experiences. And I am also still accepting OMAD success stories. So I'm going to also uh, put a link um, in the description below as to where I want you guys to send your stories. Okay, so I want you guys to stay happy and stay healthy. Bye for now.